and then selection dot n x lap dot select all right so what i'm doing here i'm showing you i'm going back to excel so first of all uh, i'm selecting let's say a65536 uh, if I go to 65536, okay, so I'm here, as per code, I'm here. Second command is selection.n select. So it basically, it takes you to the extreme end of uh, uh, the range or the direction which you specify. Here you have specified Excel up, so it is taking you up. So let's say you have uh, different numbers uh, for different uh, records. And if I go back to A65536, and then uh, if I hit Control plus uh, upper arrow key, it will take me here. So the same action will be performed by selection dot and Excel up dot select. Right, so the purpose here basically is, uh, if you are on, if you have used 10 different rows, then it will take you to the 10th row. If you have not used anything, then it will take you to the first row. So, this is the logic which I have used uh, to find the next available row. But that is not the last, uh, the next available row, but you need to select the very next row of that active cell. So for that, I will be writing active cell dot offset and I need to go to the next row, that's why offset is one row and then zero column dot select. After this, I need to fill data here. So, filling data is very simple active cell dot value is equal to so if i look at the form this form is text box one you can see its name here second one is text box two third one is text box three Th uh, fourth one is uh, text box four these are the four different objects on this user form so we have the names of different objects now we need to use these objects so i'm uh, inserting the values in cells basically so active cell dot value is equal to text box one dot value and then active cell dot offset no row change one column change dot value is equal to text box two dot value copy Paste offset of two, offset of three. The value is equal to text box three dot value and then four dot value. After writing all these values in the cell, you can display a message that. data has been inserted once you are done with this remember you need to clear these text boxes otherwise uh, if you run it next time you'll see the previous values so just clear these values Fine. So we're done with this code. Now, if you want to insert a button here, a button now always associated with a macro. If you want uh, an action to it, so here this is a private sub procedure, and you cannot hook uh, this to a button. So you need to basically insert a module here, and you need to call it as sub. Let's say extreme excel
and you just need to call this user form user form to dot show so once uh, this macro uh, has been called uh, it will show this user form and it will show this user form and once you are uh, once you fill these all details and hit submit uh, it will submit the, these details and at the end you need to hide this user form so we are done with our code let's see how it works we just need to insert a button here on this sheet so just go to uh, developer tab insert form controls and then insert a button attach your macro rename let's say submit or whatever you want to put here so once I click on this button it will show me one two three test ABC department let's say XYZ if I submit it is done if I click second time two three four A, -A, -A or SSS second line so this way it is working thanks a lot for watching this session see ya